Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing chapter 7, verse 2. And this is a very, very beautiful verse where Bhagavan Sri Krishna says to Arjun, I am going to give you all complete knowledge, which makes it feel like, okay, we are going to be having, because he's giving him and Arjun is... We are getting to know it as well. So we are going to get all complete knowledge. This is so good. This is so, so, so good. Okay. Um, so let's sing this verse together. Gyanam teham sa vigyanam idam vakshamya sheshataha yaj gyatva neha bhuyo nyaj gyata vyama vasheshate. Oh, I managed to get through it. It was, it was a tongue twister. I had to practice it a few times. I was wondering if I'd be able to sing the whole thing. Okay, so the translation is, I shall now declare unto you in full this knowledge, both phenomenal and numinous. I'm not sure what numinous means. This being known, nothing further shall remain for you to know. Let me read also Swami Mukandanan because it's simpler. I shall now reveal to you fully this knowledge and wisdom, no, knowledge and wisdom, he says, knowing which nothing else remains to be known in this world. So good. Okay, so let's do word by word. Gyanam teham savigyanam. Um, Gyanam, knowledge. Te unto you, aham, I, sir, with numinous, oh, new vigyan. Vigyan means no, realized knowledge. Knowledge, not just intellectual knowledge, but realized experiential knowledge. So, I'm going to give this knowledge unto you, not just gyan, but vigyan also. Idam, this, oh, the ah, this whole thing makes sense now. Oh, by the way, we're doing chapter 7 now. We're in the beginning of chapter 7, which means there are 18 chapters in the Gita. And if we just go chapter-wise, we've done one-third of the Gita complete yay <laughs> so we have two-thirds of the Gita remaining um, chapter wise I'm not sure how many verses we've done and how many verses are remaining but yes chapter wise okay so um, so idam this vakshyami shall explain in full so I shall explain this in full yet which knowing gyatva um, gyan basically gyatva na not iha in this world bhuya further anything anyat gyatva gyatavyam knowable avishashit avishashate remains so after knowing this after which knowing in this world further there will be nothing remaining nothing knowable shall remain anymore okay um, okay so what um, Prabhupada is saying here is that the complete in the beginning of chapter 4 this was given by uh, this uh, explanation was given by God and now he's been giving it again um yeah, okay. And then in uh, Swami Mukundan says, so you know, you know it's the same example. Like you cannot, you can practice, you can know as much as you want. Like I know how to swim. You can read as many books, but unless you unless you get into the water, you're not, you don't know how to swim. And he gives the example of honey. Like if you, if you, you can describe the taste of honey as much as you want to as many people as you want, but unless you actually taste it, you don't know the taste of honey. So yeah, this is Gyan and Vigyan and uh, Bhagavad one is saying, I'll give you both Gyan and Vigyan fully. That's amazing if somebody can just give us Vigyan, right? Like if somebody can give us realized knowledge and we don't have to go through lifetimes and lifetimes of pain and working through anarthas and working through our traumas and working through our fears and diving in and everything and working through them and past them, if we can just bypass all of that and God can just give us that realized knowledge, oof. <laughs> Sign me up for that, <laughs> Bhagavan Sri Krishna, but no, we have to work for it. We, I mean, Arjuna obviously went through a lot of a lot and a lot and a lot of practice and learning and everything before he got to this place where Bhagwan is giving at the end of the day even Bhagwan is going to give us grace God is going to give us grace and that's the only way we can learn as well um, all of our Vigyan is going to come from through his grace all of our Gyan also comes through his grace everything comes through his grace at the end of the day um, so anyways okay so that's it for this verse we'll do chapter 7 verse 3 in the next video wish you a day filled with spiritual growth radhe radhe